This video will talk about the quadratic formula. If we have a quadratic formula, it's going to be in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. And notice I have two separate squares here because it has to be equal to 0. It must be equal to 0. And then when we talk about a, and the formula is going to have a, b's, and c's in it. So a is the coefficient on x squared. Not the first term necessarily. It's the, it has to be the coefficient on x squared. And b is the coefficient on x. And c is always the constant. And then the quadratic formula is, and um, I learned from one of my students several years ago that you could sing Pop Goes the Weasel. So we would say x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's simplify and then we'll talk about the quadratic formula. This is like half of a quadratic formula. So we have negative 4 minus the square root of and then this gives us 16. And then I like to have you solve them like this. Minus, and then 4 times 1 would be 4 times negative 3. And 4 times negative 3 would be negative 12. And then all over 2. 2 times 1. And we're almost there. Negative 4 minus the square root of 16. But minus a negative is the same thing as plus 12 all over 2. So we have negative 4 minus the square root of 28 all over 2. That would be as simple as we need to get it. So what's underneath the radical, this 4x squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 3 in our case, or just b squared minus 4ac, that's called the discriminant. And then discriminant is kind of nice because it tells us what kinds of answers we're going to have. If it's a positive number like what we have here, you'll have two real solutions. Now, in the one we just did, we don't because we did half of a quadratic formula. But if you remember, it says plus or minus the square root. So we can add the square root and subtract the square root, and that gives us two answers. If it's 0, well, the square root of 0 is just 0. So we know we're going to have one real solution. And if it's a negative number, again, we can't take the square root of a negative number, so we know that we have no real solution. So let's try. And if we look at this, a is the coefficient on x squared, so that would be 1. b is the coefficient on x, so that's 5. c is the constant, which is 6. And negative b, just because that's part of our fun formula, if this is b, then negative b is going to be negative 5. So x is equal to, and then we have negative b, so negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 5 is our b squared, minus, and then in brackets we have 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 6, and then all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 1. So that's negative 5 plus or minus the square root of, now we'll simplify, 5 squared is 25 minus, and in the brackets here we have 4 times 1 is 4 times 6 is 24, all over 2 times 1 or just 2. So we have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 4 would be 1 over 2. And I'm running out of space, so I'm going to go across. That's negative 5, but the square root of 1, we happen to know, is 1. And when you get rid of the radical, you've got extra work to do. This means we have negative 5 plus 1 over 2. And we have negative 5 minus 1 over 2. So negative 5 plus 1 is going to be negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. And negative 5 minus 1 will give us negative 6 over 2, which will be negative 3. Try again. A is 1. B is negative 6. Oh, wait a minute. It said it had to be equal to 0. 
So we can't tell what our constant is yet because it has to go to the other side. We really need to rewrite it as y squared minus 6y and then add the 9 to both sides equal to 0. So the, my a is still 1 and my b is still negative 6 but now I know my c is positive 9. And just because the formula has negative b in it, I might be helpful to just list it. This is negative 6, so negative b, or the opposite of b, would be a positive 6. So x is equal to, and then we have our b, negative b, which is going to be 6, plus or minus the square root of 6, which is our b, squared, actually negative 6 squared, sorry about that minus and then in brackets 4 times a which is 1 times c which is positive 9 and that's all over 2 times that 1. So 6 plus or minus the square root of and then negative 6 squared is positive 36 and then 4 times 1 is 4 times 9 is 36 all over 2. So 6 plus or minus the square root of, but 36 minus 6 is 0, all over 2. So it's really just 6 over 2. I'm just going to add and subtract 0, which is always will give me 6. So I have 3. Remember when the discriminant was 0, we had one answer, and that's what we got. So we come in here now and look at this one. Again, we have to get everything to one side. It doesn't matter what side we take it to, especially when we're doing the quadratic formula. When we're factoring, we like to keep the x squared term positive. But if I just move this one term, I'm only moving one thing, less chance of error. So I'm going to subtract 2x squared from both sides. That gives me 0 over here, equal to negative 4x that's a 4, plus 7, that's a 7, minus 2x squared. Now, I did that on purpose because what is a? a is the coefficient on x squared, so it's negative 2. What is b? b is the coefficient on x, which is that negative 4. It's not the first term, second term, third term, it's coefficients. And then c is going to be our constant, which is going to be 7. And negative b is going to be, or the opposite of b, would be a positive 4. So here we go again. x is equal to negative b, so that's the 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 4 squared, minus and then in brackets 4 times a which is negative 2 times c which is 7 got a little more work to do this time all over 2 times a which is negative 2 so 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared is 16 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 times 7 and negative 8 times 7 is going to give us a minus a negative 56 all over 2 times negative 2 which would be negative 4. So 4 plus or minus the square root of and minus a negative becomes plus a positive so I'm adding 16 and 56 so that gives me 12, carry the 1, 6, 7, 72, all over negative 4. And for me, I'm okay to leave it here. You can simplify radicals, but we are not going to talk about simplifying radicals, so we can just leave it like this. It's not a perfect square, so I can't take the square root, so I'll just leave it like that.